I love hanging out with these dumbasses. This is a good time. Tell me when you're ready. Oh, okay. Hello. Denise here with Face to Face. Please, everyone introduce yourself again. Hi, I'm Trevor. I'm Quincy. <laughs> I'm Chad. This is Scott, everybody. Hi. He makes all of us call him that. Oh. Um, let me start with obvious. You guys have a new record. Yes. And uh, please tell me about that. I haven't had a chance to listen to it just yet. It was just sent to me, so it'll be reviewed soon. We'll see if I'll be nice. Get ready for your life to change. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How so? As soon as you hear it. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. Uh, our new record's called Three Chords and a Half Truth, and it's the first record we put out on Rise Records, a brand new label for us. Um, it's super loud right now. Um, our new record is, uh, we're super excited about it because we tried something a little different. I mean, it's still a punk rock record, but um, we're paying homage to a lot of our early influences like The Clash, The Jam, Stiff Little Fingers, 999. So it's got a little bit more of that British kind of feel. And um, it uh, it's maybe a little bit of a more of like a rootsy punk rock record. You're not going to get a lot of new school like super fast beats and stuff on it, but we tried to put the power in a lot of the, the um, arrangements and, and the chord structures and guitar parts and stuff like that. So it's a, it's a little bit of a departure for us, but it's still in our punk rock wheelhouse. Um, can you compare it to any of your other records? Um, I mean, is it most like another one? If you were a fan of How to Ruin Everything, then you probably would also just, you know, be willing to go along with our, our antics on this album pretty easily. If you're expecting to hear Don't Turn Away, it, you know, it's a little different. <laughs> and Quincy, what do you think? I think our latest record, Three Chords and a Half Truth, more closely resembles our next as of yet untitled record that we haven't written yet. Oh. Called Four Chords and Two Thirds of the Truth. <laughs> okay, and it'll be, it's a future, not even a thought in your head yet? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Chad? I concur. <laughs> Thank you for your We're contribution. To add one more chord with each successive record okay. until we've learned them all. Seems like a long tour, right? Is this a long one? It's it's about 12 weeks total. Yeah. What else are you gonna do? That's true. Chad, I'm switching hands now. What do you get to do now? Well, I'll be home soon, but uh, you know, uh, tour and have fun, right? Right. right? That's what we fucking do. party. Totally party. That's what we do. We're totally partying. Yeah, like eating cookies and shit. By that giant-sized bowl of guacamole. If that's Ooh. not a party, I don't know what it is. And cookies. And Guac cookies. No. Now I have to hold it. I'm trying to cut down. Here, I'll put it right here. Tell me, after this tour, 12 weeks, you have your pretend album in the future. What will you be doing after this tour is over? Are you gonna take a break? We only have about a three-week break, and then we're going to Europe. Uh, so, and that'll be for about three weeks, and then. Um, I think we're going to do a tour through Canada after that, starting in the east on a couple festivals, and then we're going to do headline shows across all the way out to Vancouver, or close to it. Um, and that may be it for the end of uh, 2013 for touring, unless a couple other things crop up. And then we're hoping next year we got to get back to Brazil and um, do another European tour, hopefully go to Japan, make the rounds. Who are you on the road with for this European tour? Uh, we don't, it's not, it's mostly uh, like festivals and stuff. Oh. So there's some club dates. It'll probably just be local bands. It's not like a package. So no punk rock bowling, you guys? Uh, Bottom. <laughs> Willie. I don't get it. I would like to Quincy. I would like to officially comment on punk rock bowling. Okay. We are down to do punk rock bowling. Okay. But, um... <laughs> We have yet to see an offer from the organizers that we feel is fair. Okay. So. Mark and Sean. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, we would love to do it. We we were we tried to make it happen this year, but it just it just didn't pan out. So. Would you go if you were not touring? Would you just be like a vagrant running around? Sounds like my worst nightmare. <laughs> Quincy, would you go to punk rock bowling? Yeah, I like to drink, so punk rock bowling's fun. I've played it once or twice, I think. I don't know. Yeah. Did you guys hear about the As I Lay Dying drama with 
the singer being Stop arrested. About it. I think he probably has more details. Yeah. No. Whatever. About it. Just what everyone else knows that he, I don't know, allegedly yes. uh, solicited an undercover cop to uh, kill his wife or something like that. I just say get a divorce. So, I mean, you guys heard about it. Were you like shocked? Were you like, oh, whatever, everyone's a moron kind of thing? Call him B. <laughs> <laughs> The second yes. part, the second part of your answer. Okay, I hear that. I, they're barely on my radar screen. Right. I couldn't even tell you what one As I Lay Dying song sounds like. <laughs> um, okay, well, is there anything else that's going on that you guys would like to talk about that you can talk about besides the fact that I'm going to eat this cookie as soon as we're done? I think the cookie eating is imminent. <laughs> um, no, you know, we, Scott just mentioned it kind of feels like we're barely getting started. We've done the tour kind of in some weird blocks, at least for us, because we've rented a car and stayed in hotels and then rented a U-Haul, and then now we're going to finally get like our big bus that's going to come out tomorrow night. That's really going to feel more like we've started the tour, at right. least on our end. No offense to like the people in Denver or Salt Lake or Pomona uh -huh. or the other shows that we've done that have been like right. the tour and the show, but... Um, I'm looking forward to just getting the re you know work doing the rest of this tour and visiting all the cities that I like to go to and play all these shows. That, I mean that's really the thing of focus at the moment right now, and um, just trying to get the word out about our new record. It's it's a little bit. It becomes more difficult the longer you stay a band and the more records you put out, to, especially if you have older material that's the stuff that the, you know the fans really right. want to hear. It's a little bit more difficult to kind of get people to sort of come and listen to the new songs right. and it seems right. to get a little harder with each new record where people are just like i just want to hear the self-titled record i don't care right. right well that'll conclude the interview portion of our interview so if we could all wave by the camera parade wave it was good